NC farmer asked the question, what happens if you put a standpipe on the waste valve of the ram pump? Is it going to reduce the gallons per minute required to run the pump? Will it increase the flow rate out? So not exactly sure. I have two different size standpipes that I'm going to attach and I have a pressure gauge that will tell me the pressure at the output. So that should give us a good test of whether or not it's a good idea to put these on here or not. So let's test it out. The ram pump that I'm using has a 25 foot long drive pipe with three feet of head pressure. I'm going to install the pressure gauge here on the delivery pipe ball valve. All right, hopefully that'll do. And then the first test that I want to do is just see what kind of pressure I get from this pump with uh, the regular waste valve with no pipe installed. So let's try that first. I'll have to get this thing primed real quick. I might have to add more tape to my pressure gauge. Let's find out. The pump has been running for approximately two minutes and it looks like it has reached, let's see if I can focus there, 20 PSI after about two to two and a half minutes. So that's gonna be our uh, test uh, starting point at 20 PSI. So let me go ahead and close this off. I'm gonna relieve this pressure and we will add a standpipe. I let the pressure out of the pump and now I'm gonna use this standpipe which is about 10 inches tall. So I'm gonna attach this here to the end of the waste valve, like that. And then I'm gonna start the pump back up and see what we get. Hmm, I'm gonna have to find a stick to start that thing back real quick. Let's try using this stick here. There we go. For some reason, this thing keeps shutting off here. Okay, I'm gonna let this run for about two minutes and we'll see what kind of pressure it builds. Okay, this has been running for about two and a half minutes and it looks like we are at uh, about 10 PSI. So it has not made the same pressure it's actually uh, half of what it was before. So I'm gonna turn this off. And now we're going to be installing this two foot pipe and see what kind of uh, change we have. This is actually the results that I was expecting. Whenever you increase the height of the waste valve, as we're doing now, it uh, negates the head pressure that you have because there is basically hydrostatic pressure sitting on that waste valve down there. And so it's reducing your potential. All right, this will be interesting. I gotta find a long stick to start this thing with. Okay, I released the 10 PSI that was in the gauge here. I'm gonna open the drive pipe back up. Okay. Now I need to use this to push that check valve. Well, the valve doesn't seem to want to close now. Let me make sure there's no debris in there just in case. Well, it looks clean. So my guess is I've now reduced the head pressure to about one foot and that's not going to be enough to get this pump to start. So, yeah. give it one more try here. Okay, heard a snap that time. Okay, so it snapped initially, but it's not closing again from there. So, there is now no longer enough head pressure to get this pump to start. So, if I take this off, it should start back immediately. 
because it now has three feet of head pressure instead of one. Let's see. Yeah, see now it's acting like it's ready to prime again. Yep, there we go. NC Farmer shared a video of a ram pump setup with a standpipe and it claimed that it had increased the output, the gallons per minute. But from this example and kind of the way things work as far as when you have three feet of head pressure coming in and then you weigh down that check valve with two feet of hydrostatic pressure, it's just uh, counteractive. It's just not helping this pump at all. But what if you had, say, 15 feet of head pressure from a spring head and you had to have your pump in this location, maybe you want to reduce your head pressure some. So in that case, this might be an ideal thing to do. So there is definitely some merit to uh, adding this pipe. But as far as trying to increase your output, still the best way is to have more head pressure going to the ram pump. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have a great idea on a ram pump test, be sure to write that below. And if you would like to purchase a hydraulic ram pump, I have four sizes available at landhouse.com. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.